It has now become undeniable that the atmospheric gases produced by human activities have resulted in climate change. The effects will worsen and cause irreversible environmental disaster if our actions continue. But what actually is climate change and what does it mean for Indonesia? Indonesia is at substantial climate risk due to its economic status as a newly industrialized country having a high population density which is especially concentrated in hazard prone areas and its strong dependence on its natural resource base. The Republic of Indonesia is the world's largest archipelagic state with each island having an extremely varied geography, topography, climate, culture and biodiversity. This means that each area will experience climate change differently. Climate change is the long-term shifts in temperature and weather patterns that ultimately affect the oceans, the land surfaces and all of Earth's cycles. As increasing temperatures melt the Arctic ice, the sea levels will rise and cause a permanent flooding of low-lying areas and more common and severe storm surges. With 60% of Indonesians living in coastal areas, these hazardous weather events have the potential to displace up to 4.2 million people. Areas in the northwest of Indonesia like Sumatra and Kalimantan will likely experience an increase in the amount and severity of rainfall events. This can cause flooding, landslides and cyclones and can also bring about the expansion of waterborne and mosquito-borne diseases. Other areas in the south, such as Java, Bali, and Nusa Tenggara, could experience extreme heat and prolonged drought events. The intensity of these hazards is expected to grow as the climate changes and could affect the regional and local levels very differently. With higher temperatures, increased rainfall variability, and changes in the onset and length of the wet season, the agricultural sector is extremely vulnerable and projected to experience decreased crop yields. This threatens the nation's food and water security, of which the country's GDP and rural community heavily depend on. Coral reefs are also in severe condition because of warming sea surface temperatures, and there is a widespread loss of fish that many Indonesians rely on for their food and livelihoods. These impacts are expected to disproportionately affect the most vulnerable in our society, but will ultimately affect all Indonesians, their environment and their economy.